Artificial Creeps presents weird, strange, and spooky tales and visuals generated entirely by artificial intelligence. It might contain frightening or disturbing content, and all artificial intelligence models may contain hidden vices learned from their training. Viewer discretion is advised. It's winter, and the blood is flowing. The whispered voices are coming from the other side. The dead are coming back to life. I've been hiding out in the attic since they first started reanimating, since they first started calling my name. Shirley! Shirley! Come out! Come out wherever you are! We know you're in there! We want to play a little game! You remember games, don't you, Shirley? I remember games. Hide and seek. Red Rover. Down by the stream. They were fun. Once. Now they're just scary. That's where it started. Down by the stream. Washing their hair. They were always so much fun to be around. I never had any other friends like them. I guess that's why it hurt so much when it all went wrong between us. When my daddy caught us playing together and got so mad he started shouting and then he hit me with his belt and then we never saw each other again. I should have known it was too late when I heard their voices calling through the rain. Come out, come out, wherever you are. I should have known they were never going to let me go again when they came through the window into the attic where I'd been hiding all those years since Daddy threw me up here and locked the door behind me and said you're not my daughter anymore. Since he put my head in a noose made of my own hair until I almost passed out. Since he took a knife to my face until I looked like a monster. Since he broke every bone in my body. Since he buried me up here in this attic six years ago. But now they're up here too, smiling at me, with their bloody mouths open wider than head should open, with their eyes staring at me as if they were so pleased to see me as if they hadn't been calling my name. Come out, come out wherever you are, for six years, calling me a coward for hiding from them, for being afraid of them, for what they did to me, for what they still want to do to me. Shirley, are you still up here? The dead are coming back to life. What must I do? What is there left for me? They are coming up here now, climbing up into this attic to find me. What can I do? What must I do? If only I'd listened to Nana's stories when she told them to me when I was a child. Don't go into dark rooms alone. Don't speak with strangers. Don't ever go near the stream at night. The blood is flowing now and soon it will be flowing over your head. <laughs> 